Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another uh, review. And instead of doing another stereotypical movie review, we're going to do a television show review for you. Uh, at least something for this video. And that is uh, a local documentary series that aired in one of the P uh, local PBS stations. And it was called uh, New York the Way It Was. And this was like, I think it was like a, a 9 or 10 episode uh, series. And of course, uh, each episode was an hour long. It aired on uh, WLAW Channel 21, which is out of Guan Sing, Long Island. And that's about everybody in the New York City area received this channel, uh, for the most part. So, uh, people got, got to see this series. And this series aired, no, excuse me for a moment. This series aired from the early 90s to about the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, and, and it did end during the infamous Pledge Weeks. So every time we have a Pledge Week, they usually would have one of these produce a new show for the next Pledge Week. And then it would constantly repeat it and say, oh, donate money and you get the whole set or five episodes, whatever, how many episodes they had at the time of that particular Pledge Week. Uh, fortunately, for, for like almost 20 years, WLAW doesn't end these shows anymore. Uh, but you can go to their website, uh, the, the WLAW website, and you can see about five of the episodes. And a couple of them all, you know, I consider to be the best ones. Uh, of course, the very first show, which was called, which was, which was tired, New York the way it was, and won a local Emmy for best documentary. So because that show was pretty, pretty damn successful, uh, I mean, uh, about like seven or eight other episodes after that. Uh, well, the first episode really kind of trailed on New York City, particularly Manhattan itself. And of course, all the other series there was a particular area or. Uh, we're going to get, get into it and after it. But the first one, of course, actually, the next time they were mostly Manhattan with what Broadway looked like back in the 40s. And usually picked up from after the 1939 World's Fair ended throughout the 40s and into the 1950s. Uh, and so, how what people do to spend their free time. Or the Broadway shows, or to the automats, uh, get an egg cream. And they do exp explain what an egg cream was, uh, what an egg cream is during, during the show. And they do have interviews with people who, of course, either lived during that time or celebrities who lived at that time, like Alan King and uh, Joe Franklin, who, of course, has passed away since, then, since the show originally aired. Uh, like, like I said, well, I actually saw it over the 50th anniversary reunion of one, one of the local high schools. And it was Lincoln High School in Brooklyn. So, and they got into how, how they spent their childhood. So, that's how the first episode uh, was. And they got into what they used to do, their free time, how to play football, how to play in the streets, uh, play stickball, and, and, and all this type of stuff. Uh, like I said, the first show was very so it was so successful for Channel Twenty One uh, that they made other shows. And the second show, which unfortunately I never saw, which was called New York the way it was, the old neighborhood. And I guess they went into all different neighborhoods and discuss and talked to people from who grew up in certain neighborhoods how, how it was uh, back during the 40, growing up during the forties and fifties. Now, like I said, I never saw that episode, so I can't really give a proper review on. But the very first show I saw in this series was actually the third episode and I consider this to be possibly the best episode in the whole uh, series. Other than the episode New York the way it was Brooklyn. And that is New York the way it was Wish You Were Here. Now like I, like I said, that's a, I felt it was like the best show, best episode of the whole series. Uh, because it shows you what New Yorkers used to do during the 40s and the 50s, you know, for recreation. Uh, it does start off with the first segment, were mostly, mostly the beaches. It actually went, this show, or this series, was aired during the Pledge Weeks for PBS. Uh, they broke it up within 20 minute segments, so it was 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and 20 minutes. So the first 20 minutes was about the, uh, was about the uh, beaches. It's called Coney Island, uh, Steeper Chase Park, which now uh, has the Brooklyn Cyclone Stadium there, MCU Park. 
And then of course I sold to some Rockaway Peach. And if you hear that noise, that, that, and that noise was picked up by my microphone, that was uh, an airplane passing overhead. So if you hear that, a little roar, that's what it is. Uh, knowing the show coming up, I saw Steeper Chase Park, they showed the, th the uh, Cyclone Roller Coaster, Nathan's. Uh, you know, what Coney Island looked like in the 40s and 1950s. And of course, all the crazy vines and activities they used to do in Coney Island. Because you see stuff there in Coney Island, they, they never saw anywhere else. Uh, then of course, they show Rockaway Beach with all the bungalows. Which I think, I think now today is maybe like seven, less than ten bungalows are, are left there now. Uh, in that in the whole area. Um, then you have, of course, show Jones Beach. Uh, was the first segment. The second segment was, of course, all, uh, the next 20 minutes was all about the Catskills. The Catskill Resorts, particularly Coastages. which was the resort they mainly focused on. Uh, all the resorts were in the Catskills, that was the one they focused on. And they interviewed the daughter of the owners. And so they were able to get her, so that's why they focused on focusing on closeness and not a Concord or Lowe's or any other resort, so it's closing us mostly. And uh, then of course the final segment was of course talking about all the other activities. Like like bowling, going to camp, sleeping away camp, bowling, roller skiing, um, some of the, some of those other uh, activities that kids did or young people did during the 40s and 1950s. Uh, which, like I said earlier, uh, there was, I felt, the best episode of the whole series. Except for maybe the first one. Uh, then, of course, they had episodes of dealing with individual areas of boroughs. Uh, and they had then one with New York Way was Brooklyn. And, of course, part of the first segment was they did discuss Coney Island again. And throughout the series, that particular episode also talked about the Brooklyn Dodgers. Um, that was most mostly and people how they lived in Brooklyn and how one, one particular guy worked for a cleaners and he used to do, make deliveries. And the way the toy system was took him like twelve hours to create to do all all of his deliveries. Uh, that's how slow the, the trolley service was back then. In Brooklyn when they used to have a trolley service. Um, then. Of course, they saw the new aquarium, they did other things. Or, or showed other things, interviews with people about how what Ray Brooklyn was back then. They never really had to really leave the neighborhood, everything was in the neighborhood. Uh, same thing with the, they also did one with the Bronx. Well, they also with the Bronx, and they actually talked about the Bronx Zoo, the Botanical Garden, and of course the Yankees. Uh, then, of course, you had ones. Uh, it didn't have anything to do with the Bulls in particular. They had one with Central Park, which was also very good, which is an episode, episode I also liked. Uh, but one, one of my other favorite episodes in that series was with Central Park, and I thought it was that good. And then you, then they had one with New York the Way, two other ones. New York the Way was Grange Village, which I thought was, eh, okay. But, but not great, and, and I felt the same way for New which was actually was, I think was the last episode was New York the way it was Queens. And of course the big interview they had, it was Carol O'Connor, of course, playing Archie Bunker, who was born and raised in Queens, and of course on the family, the show was supposed to be based in, even though it was from the California, uh, the television show, but the show itself was supposed to have been filmed in, supposed to be in Astoria, Queens. So, but the, that show, for the most part, that show was good but not great. But unfortunately, the only bowl in New York City that didn't have its own episode in the New York Great West series was Stan Island. And figured, hey, what the hell happened with Stan Island? How come there's no Stan Island episode in this series? Um, but, like I said earlier at the beginning of this review, they don't tell uh, 21, WLAW, don't show these episodes, shows anymore. At least on. Uh, Regular, regular broadcast schedule. Um, I don't know why. Uh, why they don't do it anymore? I guess maybe because they're going to get the, the funding man out and they're going to sponsor it again. Oh, oh God, this, this again? Uh, they're doing the doo up shows. The doo up shows are pretty much dying out of me on PBS because knowing the acts themselves are dying. 
when we were the old, old, in the 70s or 80s, when we were the old and the so that unfortunately they're dying. And you know, I know I'm a glad of it, but, but they all, we're all unfortunately dying. And so they're not having no shows anymore. And so the same thing with the New York Today War shows. Uh, those shows with, with them good in and it's put nostalgia more than anything else. And those shows were very good and it shows you what New York and I get a tie what New York really was like during the night during the so called heyday the nineteen forties and nineteen fifties. You can see how people were dressed, what people used to do for recreation. I don't like doing what I'm doing now, that's sitting in front of my computer recording a video. You didn't have computers back then, you didn't have YouTube, you didn't have Facebook, you didn't have any of this stuff. And very few people in the 1950s, very few people had televisions. So the person that would have a television in the neighborhood was like a neighborhood, like a world news event. And people, the whole neighborhood used to come in and watch television. And, and, a, and the first person on the block will have television. Everybody in the whole block will come in and watch TV. You know, be Milton Bull or Jackie Gleason, whomever. Or, or Ed Sullivan, whomever. They, they would come in and watch television because it was a real event. So it was like really really a different time, a different era, and it's really unique and really fun to see, for, for me, to see these shows. Uh, I do wish, if anybody from WLIW happens to be watching this video, please... <laughs> Sorry, I live in a park, it's probably a game going on. Uh, if any, any, any of you who happen to be working for WLIW who just happens to see this video, Please put these shows back on the air. I mean, it's been over 20 years since the first one aired, back in 1993 originally. It'd be fun to, to put on the rewatch this show, uh, or to re air these shows. Because they're good and fun to watch. Uh, if you watch them all in a row, or get tedious after all, you'll, you'll get bored to death. But if you watch one once in a row, like once a night, or whatever, it's fine. But like I said before, the shows were, the, this show was that was good because I enjoy, I enjoy it because it's part of nostalgia. And I'm also curious to know what New York City looked like back in the 1940s and 1950s. And you see, home most of these shows were of home movies, either home movies or film or film uh, newsreel films. Of the of these areas, particularly you know Manhattan, with Broadway, and, and the uh, older maps, the old older maps. Now, those of you who don't know what older map was, because it, it used to be it's, it's like a cafeteria, and and you put nickels into a machine, and they have different f food items. Like they have hun hundreds of if not thousands of food different food items, and you just put in like. Uh, Let's say a piece of pie with a nickel. You just put, put one nickel in. Or, or, or if it's uh, a bowl of soup, it would be like 10 cents and you had to put two, two nickels in. Uh, stuff uh, stuff like that. And you just get the iron and just sit anywhere and you have your meal. And it's real, it was like a real cheap meal. Um, and they show what the automat was. Unfortunately, that's the automat. I think it was like in Times Square. Uh, we're not a business like better. Around the time, I think it was like almost around the time of the first show, uh, originally it. But New York Way was, it was and I know, I know I'm repeating myself now, it was, it was a good, good show and I wish it was still on the air. Uh, but if you go to the WLAW website, they do show five of the episodes. Uh, I think they show the original one, New York Way was, I think they show New York Way was Queens. Uh, maybe when it was Grand, uh, Greenwich Village, I think they showed the Greenwich Village episode. And I think maybe either the Brooklyn show or the Greenwich, or the, or the Greenwich Village show. Uh, regardless, it is fun. It is, you know, have the time to go go to the WLAW website and watch five of the, you know, those particular episodes. And please write them an email, encouraging them to say, hey, please put. I will ask them to please put these shows back on the air. So let me review of New York Way of War, the New York Way of War series. Please click on the video, please read it. Please subscribe to my channel and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my videos on my YouTube channel. 
but at rallyc.com. It's all on WDY. Rallyc.com. That's the homepage. And it should close out those, those windows. Please go to rallyc.com. It's all on WDY. Rallyc.com. The homepage of the Valley Reviewer, Christy Moore. Please check out all of his TV trash videos. Plus, uh, all of his content, not just my videos, but all the other content that he has on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.